Hello and welcome to Renfield Bring Your Own Blood. And now this is obviously a tie-in with the movie of the same name, Renfield, obviously with Nicolas Cage and Nicholas Holt. And I gotta say, that actually looks like a lot of fun. I've not seen the movie or anything like that, but this is actually a super fun experience. Roguelite, kind of bullet heaven kind of thing, you know, you know how these things work. There's a meta progression system as well on the outside. So as you can see here, I've actually been playing a whole bunch. I've uh, leveled up quite a few things. Didn't level up my critical chance for some reason. Don't know why I didn't do that. But otherwise, there is also a coffin here. As far as I'm aware, the coffin does provide you with, I believe, one extra life when you're in the, uh, you know, when you're in the actual level. And you can also unlock talents here as well. These things will provide you with certain buffs when you're actually in the game itself. They will uh, unlock additional skills for you to take. Otherwise, if you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. It's about five, six dollars, something like that. Anyway, let's start a new game. This has absolutely incredible style, oozing from every single pore. And you can see here, look at this. Hello, my name is Renfield. Yes, indeed. And there are no other characters at the moment because I haven't unlocked them. And there are, as far as I can tell, three levels at the moment. This is also in early access, by the way. So, of course, all of this is subject to change and improvement and, you know, all that wonderful stuff. So, let's start. I'm loving this game so far. Look at the, look at the style. This is so incredibly cool. I love the way that they've actually done a lot of the various features as well. The uh, quality of life improvements that they have here. For example, experience doesn't just stand there when you kill enemies it slowly moves toward you so you actually don't technically have to move if you don't want to but obviously you're gonna have to because enemies are going to inevitably going to uh, you know try to kill you and stuff so yeah anyway positive thoughts we're gonna take positive thoughts to hopefully kill the enemies as best as we can but yes that is exactly what I'm talking about here the style of the game is absolutely wonderful it reminds me kind of a little bit of hotline miami in a way because it has a lot of very vivid colors and everything and i like the way as i said the experience moves towards you i also like the way that they are doing this because this is not the only arena that we're going to fight in there are a number of different arenas that you can travel to after the initial wave has been completed you can see the enemy count in the top right of the screen at the moment and that's going to provide you with a way of knowing when the level is over basically anyway we're going to go for more positive thoughts here i think that seems like a pretty decent idea for me and we're otherwise just going to murder that there we go and now we have the ability to choose where we want to go as you can see right here so we can go north west east south we can go anywhere we like and we're going to go south for the moment doesn't really matter as far as i can tell but there are going to be optional, uh, well, not really optional objectives, but extra objectives later on in the game. So when you travel a certain amount of time away from your starting zone, you are then going to have the ability to rescue a victim of Dracula. I'm going to assume it's a victim of Dracula that, um, you know, he has tasked you with, you know, retrieving for him and um, you are then obviously going to decide on what you want to do with that. Either you want to rescue that particular person or you want to not. And if you decide to rescue them, then it is a lot more difficult than if you were to um, have them be killed, basically. So it kind of determines, it's kind of like a cool uh, player choice, player input kind of thing. So it's like, do you want this to be harder? Do you want this to be easier? And it just kind of gives you that sort of player choice, player input kind of feeling. And I actually really like that. That's really really enjoyable because it kind of says you know what do you feel confident in your character's build do you feel confident in what you're currently doing and you know what kind of abilities you have you know it's all very very fun and there is also a special ability which i'm actually going to be using right now there it is there's the special ability it is a massive shockwave that basically just kills everyone in the area and in my opinion Super, super good. It's so satisfying to see that, sh that, that shockwave just reverberate through the environment. And there's also going to be additional opponents 
that will have guns. Yeah, so so uh, some of these people will be able to shoot at you, as you can no doubt see already. They they do have projectiles and they are going to inevitably be firing at me. I've got to be really careful about them. They actually deal massive damage, as you can see right here. So I have to be very, very careful. I really don't want to get myself killed this early on because uh, funnily enough, I actually did make it uh, to the victim extraction point and I was also um, at the boss and I was kind of hoping, you know what, I'd love to be able to, you know, win a run uh, because that's the point. Obviously, there's a number of progression upgrades that you can inevitably get uh, on the outside and that's obviously a, a really big deal, you know, because it really makes a huge difference. I mean, you can see here, look at how much damage I'm actually taking. Pretty crazy. I don't think I have particularly good upgrades, unfortunately. That's, I think, making a big difference in how effective yeah as you can see in how effective i am and there you go that's it that's the end of the run but that's the thing in my opinion the gameplay loop is really enjoyable i actually think it's really enjoyable and i have been enjoying myself a great deal all right so i'm actually going to get some more critical chance get some more critical chance there we go and then we'll start a new game once again perfectly fine to just go in here once more and try something else that's the thing. Also, the environment is slightly destructible as well, which I actually really appreciate. Um, but yeah, as I say, this is literally early access. So I think it would be really cool to actually see some additional um, additional descriptions for the items and everything like that. You know, just kind of letting you know exactly what they do on the, uh, you know, like the talents and things like that on the, on the talent screen. But I'm not sure whether it's really necessary. There's a fat rat that explodes. Should we go for the fat rat that explodes? Yeah, let's do that. Why not? That seems pretty fun. Not entirely sure how that's going to work. Where is it? There it is. Ah, oh, I see. It gets uh, it gets thrown out there by Renfield, and then it explodes. And it doesn't seem to have a... Uh, not a big fan of it so far. That ability is quite slow. Seems to be a pretty long cooldown. Does seem to do a lot of damage in the area, though. Seems to cause some kind of toxin to appear on the floor there, which is actually really good for us. You can see here, however, we are able to pick up a huge amount of gold if we're lucky. As you can see, there's a massive amount of gold sacks on the floor. Whenever you kill some opponents, they do have a chance to drop that. And also there are elite enemies as well that you're going to be able to uh, deal with too. Anyway, ooh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, what do we want? I can increase my power, which does more damage. That power is basically damage. And or I could get the self-help book. I think I'll get the self-help book. Generally, that is a good good idea. Uh, in my opinion, I found the best way to progress in the game is to get as many multiple abilities as you can. So, um, you know, the self-help book, for example, as you can see, I actually throw that at enemies. The uh, play grat as well is also something that's going to be quite useful for us. Um, but yeah, generally those kinds of things are really going to make a huge difference to your overall success because you can't really do, I, I don't think you can really do too well with just the one, but you may need to upgrade it. I think upgrading it would definitely make sense. That's obviously going to be the thing that will, you know, push you forward. But I think initially you don't really want to upgrade anything. I think for me personally, the strategy is to just take as many homing things as possible, as many things that kind of deal damage without you having to be right next to the enemy. I think that's, oh, hello. I got a power up right here. Okay, hello there. That was some massive damage. Okay, yeah, very nice indeed. Unfortunately, oh, look, look, we got more damage coming in. Okay, that's absolutely fantastic. Love that. Okay, yeah, that was, wow, that was new. I actually haven't experienced that before, so that was really, really fun. All right, now, let me just pick up all of this. Thank you very much. And now we've leveled up. Okay, so what else do we want? Oh, purple bat is pretty good. Uh, fat rat that explodes. Nah, I'm not really going... I'm, I'm going to go for the purple bat because the purple bat, as you can see, fires purple projectiles at the opponent. And they are also penetrating rounds as well. So whenever a purple projectile goes through one, it will just continue onward to the next enemies. So that's actually perfect for us. Anyway, here we go. I've actually saved my special ability here for a very specific reason, because of course, what I want to do is I want to try to maximize my success on this next stage, because this is going to be the hard one. Or although, to be fair, they do get quite difficult later on down the line anyway, but this is definitely going to be the one that will be quite difficult for me, because the enemies are actually equipped with AK-47s now, or assault rifles or whatever they are, and they're actually going to 
be uh, pretty damaging. There's a health pickup as well. There are red bugs on the floor and you can actually pick those up. Um, obviously those things are um, basically what you can do is you can get a, a skill that allows you to draw those bugs towards you similar to how the experience is drawn towards you in comparison to how it is right now where they basically just move randomly so sometimes you can actually miss out on getting health because they're just going to move away from you consistently which is of course a part of the challenge going to use this now going to clear out all of that thank you very much and then we're going to get a nice little level up thank you very much okay here we go uh, i'm going to go for purple bat increase its damage reduce its cooldown and everything so that we can just do increased amounts of damage there. There we have it, okay. And what's really wonderful as well, really nice quality of life improvement here, is whenever you complete a certain area, everything in that area gets picked up automatically. So you don't actually have to go and pick up all your experience. You don't have to pick up all the gold or anything like that. You can literally just chill out and kill all the enemies and then you'll get everything that you are due which in my opinion is very cool because otherwise it would be super, super tedious and you're not really going to want to do that, are you? That's going to be a little bit irritating. Anyway, there's another bug there. I'd like to pick that up. Thank you. Nice. We're almost back to full HP. Uh, oh yeah, one other thing that I think would be really, really useful to add. Uh, obviously, this is very much just feedback for the developers. I don't know whether they're going to even see this, but I'm going to mention it anyway. I personally feel like in vulnerability frames would be very, very helpful to make it so the player isn't that frustrated when they get hit. Because obviously, inevitably, you are going to get hit in this game. And having uh, a couple of invulnerability frames would be quite nice. And that's obviously going to make things much more palatable. So if you do make a mistake, at least it's not going to be a super hardcore, you know, just going to die instantly kind of thing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's just a little bit of feedback from my part. Because I personally think that having a couple of invulnerability frames would not kill the game and, you know, not make it, you know, completely easy or anything like that. It would be pretty, still be pretty difficult. All right. Now, I'm actually not entirely sure what we want to go for here. I'm thinking self-help book. We're just going to continue advancing these, even though the blood bubble could be really, really useful. All right. So there's the victim. As you can see, there's the victim right there. She's running away. We kind of need to make sure that uh, we, you know, rescue her from all of these wonderful denizens here. And um, yeah, let's just try not to get shot. That is all I can really do. I'm going to make sure that there are a lot of enemies on screen before I use my special ability. So I'm going to do probably something like this. Boom. Take them all down. There we go. And we can just go over here, pick up all the loot. Thank you very much. And there's some more health over there as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be okay. Seems like these gangsters are firing off in some really weird directions, which I'm actually very pleased about because it makes it a lot easier for me to dodge them. But as I say, they are pretty difficult. Okay, wait a minute. I can actually use my ability once again. I think I'm going to do that once more. Kind of makes sense for me to do that. There we go. And let's pick up that bug as well. And as you can see, we can now rescue her. And we are going to rescue her. And now, as you see, we can either save her or we can take her to Dracula. Where do you want to go? I'm going to try to save her because that is more difficult. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm not very much holding out too much hope here because I have never been able to successfully complete a run. Technically, I could have taken her to Dracula and that would have made things much, much easier for me. Apparently, I've not done that either, but, you know, <laughs> the game did actually tell me that it was easier to do that. So I'm going to assume that it's probably quite a lot easier. So, yeah, that is obviously your own choice. That is your own choice if you so desire to do that. But uh, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see just whether we will be able to achieve victory here. And uh, hopefully my special ability will come back relatively soon. Okay, we're getting some nice damage. There's my special ability. Charge up. Boom. Take them all down. Thank you very much. And there's the elite enemy as well. That's also been eliminated. And we can now take... Ooh, what do we want? I think I'm going to go for another upgrade for the self-help book. The cooldown reduction is going to be super, super useful for us. And... There's one enemy. <laughs> That's actually so funny that there's one enemy remaining. Okay, there we go. He's dead. And now we can make our way to somewhere else. Okay, let's go over here. 
Okay, so we have only 45 seconds remaining. I'm actually not entirely sure what that means. Is that the extraction timer? I've ne I, I don't know. I've, I've not actually, I don't think I've survived until, oh, that's when the boss appears. That is actually when the boss appears. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, yeah. So there is actually a boss. There are boss fights. So that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Hopefully I'm gonna be able to survive this. I mean, my self-help book should help us out quite dramatically so hopefully we will be able to survive it and let me just be a little bit careful about taking damage here i kind of want to get more kills so that i can use my special ability let's do it there we go and now i can hopefully go over here and pick up all the wonderful experience give me all this thank you nice there we go all right i'm actually getting shot by these guys as well not particularly not a big fan Okay, there we go. Can we kill? Can we kill? Uh, yeah. Oh, we're losing HP because I'm taking so long to kill the elite. I think that's the... Uh, I think that's the main issue there. So we're taking too long to kill enemies. So that's what's going on. Okay, so Giga, Giga Lupus is the, uh, is the boss in this area. As you can see, it is a huge bullet hell situation going on. I think I'm probably going to die here because I just did not reach here fast enough. And as you obviously know already from how I've, from what I've told you, there are no invulnerability frames. So me just charging through the horde there, it's just going to kill you almost instantly. So there you go. We were able to unlock some additional things, which is actually very nice. We've got limb spears and a severed head. I know I had no idea what's that, what that's for, but I guess we're going to have to find out. So anyway, let's have a look-see here. Talents. Okay, so we've got Stupefy right there. We're going to buy that. That is something that can, of course, appear in future runs and we can also now upgrade ourselves quite significantly so what do we want to go for well probably movement speed a little bit let's go for radius as well maybe i should go for a little bit more radius let's go for some more power there that's damage of course and then we'll go for some more um, what do we want to go for probably uh we could do radius or armor i guess i'll go for some more armor all right let's start once again there we go and now we're going to try something a little bit different, okay? We're going to try... Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to see what I get, actually get in my first upgrade. And then we'll make a decision on, uh, you know, based on that. Because if I get a projectile-based ability, then I'm obviously going to try and focus on that. But if I get Shadow Claws upgrade, then I'll try to focus on Shadow Claws as much as I possibly can. There we go. Got the level up. Let's have a look. Okay, so I actually did get... Two, wow, okay. I got basically everything that I wanted... That's really unfortunate, actually, because now I'm thinking, should I just upgrade Shadow Claw dramatically, or should I go for Self-Help Book and the Purple Bat? Ah, uh, I'm going to go for Shadow Claw, just because you haven't really seen that um, be upgraded that much, and, you know, might as well just show you and see, uh, you know, see how it is. Because maybe it's actually going to help us to kill things faster, because I think that was the main problem with the ending there. I didn't really have speed of um, speed of kills you know it was taking a long long time to kill things so i guess that was the main reason because i just didn't upgrade my you know appropriate skills fast enough i, I guess that's the reason I, I suppose i don't know um so yeah otherwise we can level up once again and let's see what else we're going to get oh okay we're going to go we're just literally going to get shadow claw again that's going to increase its critical chance by 25 percent which is actually pretty significant there we go. And uh, should we go north? Should we go south? Should we go right? Uh, let's go right. Why not? Okay, let's just kill these. Yeah, this is obviously a lot faster to kill enemies, as you can see right here. I'm actually wondering what the fourth level of the Shadow Claw is. Because I don't think I've ever seen that before. So that's going to be interesting. What is that green bug there? I actually don't know what the green bug does. Uh, I think it increases my critical chance, potentially. I'm not entirely sure. But um, yeah, I've got to be careful about these projectiles. I think that's one thing I'd like to see as well. These projectiles are quite, in my opinion at least, I feel like they're quite hard to see. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. I do tend to have pretty poor vision most of the time. So it could just be a personal, personal issue. But I would like to see these projectiles maybe have slightly larger... Uh, you know, a graphical impact to them or something like that. But obviously, again, that is probably just me. 
Okay, let's just kill these, kill these. Gotta be careful. This is obviously very tricky when you're getting swarmed from both sides. I could have used my special ability, but I really want to save that for the next level. Okay, there we go. Look at that. We got another Shadow Claw upgrade. Let's do it. Okay, now I'm cooking with gas. Oh, yes. Now I am cooking with gas. Quite literally. Look at this. Wow, that was some pretty insane damage. Okay, yeah. So that's probably going to happen in... Wow, okay, yeah. This is what I should have done the whole time, I guess, because the amount of damage we're able to do with this is just insane. Okay, we're going to go for around 75 enemies until I use my ability. If that is actually going to even happen, because maybe they're going to die before that happens. Who knows? Okay, no, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, there we go. And use it. There we go. Whew, nice. And we can also get ourselves healed up a little bit there. Let's just kill these. I've got to be so much more careful about those uh, those uh, assault rifle carrying guys. They are way too damaging to just walk into them. It's pretty bad. Okay, there we go. Hopefully I'll be okay. The soundtrack, by the way, is absolutely amazing. I uh, might actually just shut up for a second so that you can listen to it for a little bit of time. I'm going to go for self-help book now because we've got Shadow Claw upgraded to the maximum. I think four is the maximum level that you can uh, get skills to. There we go. So there's a little look at the uh, at the soundtrack there. In my opinion, very, very cool. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's move on to the northern area here. And as you can see, we now have the victim to help. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to do this this time. But I am not really holding out too much hope. I don't have a huge amount of HP. And that is definitely making things very difficult. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I think I might be literally just dead just right away maybe maybe i can you know who knows who knows okay let's, let's try to keep let's try to try to keep positive okay try to keep positive as much as we possibly can i've just got to kill things and then i can get my special ability and that's gonna obviously make a huge difference okay so if i can just move over here well, how did i take damage how did i take damage from that i have no idea okay so let's just try to be careful there we go Okay, we're good. Can I use this yet? Nope. Nope, still not. Yeah, now I can. Oh, no. And then I got shot and dead. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, it happens. It happens. You know, we just got really unlucky there. I think Shadow Claw could be really, really good for speed, but you're going to have to be very careful with how you use it, in my opinion, because obviously, as you can say, as you can quite clearly tell, I took a massive amount of damage just randomly some of the time there. Anyway, I'm just going to level up my my health here a little bit and we'll go over some more armor. There's my maxed out armor there. And uh, you can also obviously take coffin as well. As I say, I think that might be a second life, but I am actually not entirely sure. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. If you'd like to check out Renfield, bring your own blood, then there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.